like it. It's fun when you know what you're doing. I... I... No, I just got lucky. I... Getting a compliment. You could. I could. You could. Ooh. Impressed yet? Don't stop. Keep it coming. Hmm. Yeah, I've got this down. Ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, my sincerest apologies for the wait. Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated ball to bear witness to... The Academy Wide Dance Competition! Welcome to the White Heron Cup! The competition will be judged by me, your humble servant, Alois Rongel, and also the acclaimed former songstress of the Mittelfrank Opera Company, Manuela Casagranda! Yes, yes, thank you. Oh! And it should go without saying, but I swear to show no bias to my own house. Got it? Good. Last but not least, the glamorous assassin who does all of her dancing in the dead of night, Shamir Nevrand! Hmm. The three of us swear on our honor 
to judge the following proceedings with utmost impartiality and fairness. And with that, will the representatives of each house please make their way to the stage? Contestants, are you ready to dance? And is the band prepared to play? Very well. Begin! That's all, folks! Splendid! All three of you were fantastic! <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh my, let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for... The Golden Deer House. Your performance was artistic, beautiful even. I vote for... Golden Deer House. The way you carried yourself was striking. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion, yes, we have a winner. And I will announce who it is right now. Without any delay, the winner of this year's White Heron Cup is... The Golden Deer House! Yes, it was the logical choice. My dancing was superior. Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants. Thank you. My presence will affect nothing, I'm sure, but I shall put forth the effort. Indeed. I will do my part. Amazing, no? Better than before. It's fun when you know what you're doing. I am closing in on expertise. I always was a quick study. Guess I learned a thing or two. I appreciate your effort. A new path to tread. Raphael. 
There. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. Come again. Hello there. This one, yes? I think this one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I thank you. This one, yes? I thank you. Return soon, please. Pardon me. Professor. worth trying out. Great. Just your new. I can't bear it. Yup. Tasty. My favorite meal at my favorite cost. Free. Gotta love this place. Many meals in my time, but this is divine. Oh, exquisite! This is exactly the meal I've been craving. Is a revelation. <laughs> I can't help but smile when I eat it. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. This is 
one of my favorites. How did you know? That smell, mm, it's amazing. My fave, in fact. Do you like it too? Could I at least persuade you to eat with utensils? Eyes on your own plate. Don't you know it's disrespectful to waste food? This is delicious! My absolute favorite! Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. up to me, hopped in my lap, and scarfed it all down in one bite. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I was looking forward to that sandwich all morning, and then she scurried off like nothing happened. <sighs> ah. hmm. All right, then. What do you feel like doing today? Why do you sigh like that? It's not a problem, is it? I could tell you were holding. Welcome. Will this one do? Many thanks. Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon. This about the ball. It's an event. Hey, hey. Great work in Remire Village, Professor. Who would have ever guessed it was Tomas? Ah, but no. Now isn't the time to get lost in gloomy thoughts. possibly do at a formal ball. I've no status, and I'm not much of a dancer. I think it would be best if I stayed put in abyss, far from view of anyone. I can't believe this. 
so angry right now. First it's the Death Knight, and now Tomas, but neither of them are in custody. I can't stand the thought of such evil lurking in the world. We have to do something about this. I have to do something about this. It cannot be true that I... I have been told that your house won the White Heron Cup. This can only be a result of the students' talent and effort, not to mention your steadfast instruction. The time has come for the annual ball, but first, an eve of merriment. Okay, I'll admit it, the Officer's Academy isn't as uptight as I thought. Ooh, I adore such things! Dancing is the only thing I'm really good at anyway. There's a feast tomorrow, isn't there? Isn't there? Oh, I can't wait a moment longer! Dancing? Singing? I'm not good at either of those things. So? Dancing is fun! Oh, and remember that you can't dance with the same partner multiple times. It's tradition. That means you have to dance with all of the gentlemen in all of the houses, swapping dance partners as you please. <laughs> How scandalous. I, for one, plan to simply behold the pure essence of dance. I'll, um, watch from a distance. You can't just watch, Marianne. If a boy asks you to dance, you simply must accept. It's only polite. You can ask anyone to dance? God, whatever should I do? <laughs> oh, lucky you, Ignatz. Tomorrow, if only for a day, you may live out your dearest dreams of an exalted existence. As for me, I am surely to be overwhelmed with the propositions of desperate ladies. I will doubtless have little time for partners of my own choosing. Which one of you is dreaming now, Lawrence? Everyone, listen up. To no one's surprise, I have a brilliant idea. Teach, you'll want in on this too. This may sound impetuous, perhaps irresponsible, almost certainly impossible, but we're gonna do it anyway. In exactly five years' time, let's promise to meet again, right here at the monastery. A reunion? There's usually food at reunions. Count me in, Claude. Five years from now, will be the monastery's Millennium Festival, celebrating 1,000 years since the founding of Garrig Mach. I hear the Millennium Festival will be the largest celebration in the monastery's history. Oh, I get it. It'll be easier for us to all get back here with the Millennium Festival as an excuse. How true. As the new leader of the Alliance, I will certainly have occasion to attend and pay my respects to Lady Rhea. That almost certainly will not transpire. And you teach? I guess it's hard to imagine that you'll still be teaching here five years from now. 
But I'm sure no matter where you end up, you'll come running at the chance to see your adorable little golden deer again, right? <clears throat> that was your cue to promise everyone you'll return. Go on, set a good example, Teach. If you promise, everyone else will too. <laughs> I'm already excited. After five years, we'll all be whoever we're going to become. Oh, please, Professor, invite Captain Gerald too. I want to show him how well his apprentice turns out. It's settled then. What do you say, Claude? Is it official? The promise is sealed. That means we're all obligated to keep it. Five years from today, all of us will meet again at the monastery. Don't forget it, Teach. You and I will meet here again. Running away? I understand. You hardly had the time to breathe in there. It must be hard to be the favorite teacher at the ball. <laughs> poor, poor professor. So you do think you're the favorite? <laughs> I might have known. But where is there to run? This place is filled with joyful students looking for a dance. Ah, I see. The Goddess Tower waits for you.
have a wish for the future, let's pray for it, okay? Who, me? Oh, nothing in particular. Let's pray for your wish. There must be something you want. Well? Seems that everyone is having a delightful time. Will you not dance some more? How dull of you. Had I a body of my own? Oh, I would sing and dance until I fell upon the ground. But you... <laughs> do as you will. Oh. You're not the only one who feels that way. Look over there. Hmm. I'm bored beyond compare. Will you not follow her? Oh, come on. Hurry up. I know that you are curious to see what she is up to. I hear someone singing from over there. song. I feel that I have heard it in the past. Actually, it is not that I have heard it. I... did I once sing that song to someone? No, there's more. I wrote this song. Oh, but how could that be so? If that were true, then how could she be singing it? Unless... No, no. I am suddenly so exhausted. As are you, no doubt. Quickly then, to bed with you.
a new path to tread. Captain? Captain? Where are you? Hey, Professor, have you seen your old man? Too bad. I guess it will have to be you, then. I'm back. Sorry for the delay. My last mission took longer than expected. Captain! Thank goodness you're here. There are reports of demonic beasts near the chapel. Nonsense. I haven't heard anything about the monastery's walls being breached. That's why I'm heading there now, to see what's really going on. You'll join as well, won't you? Of course. We're both sworn to protect this place. It's odd. Just before they appeared, someone saw a number of students heading toward the chapel. They were apparently acting strange, as though they weren't in their right minds. Shortly after, demonic beasts started to appear, one after another. Hmm. The students. There's no way those demonic beasts got in from the outside. But none of that matters right now. We need to act. Go summon your students. Damn it. I wanted to talk to you about something important, but there's no time. Oh, there's never any damn time. But this is much more urgent, so it can hold for now. I'll meet you there. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you.
Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Are demonic beasts here they're emerging from the chapel i'll head that way the rest of you protect the students who weren't able to get away help me these beasts they're uh, somebody help me you stupid beasts don't you dare come over here to it. Anytime. They're really Anytime. to me. Is 
this okay? Stay focused. Ready and willing. Who, me? I stand ready. I got this. Beast. There's a stone or something on its forehead. Thank you, but my friends who couldn't get away, are they okay?
at him. Ready and willing. I stand ready. Who, me? I got this. Ready anytime. Leave it to me. I don't have time for failure. I'll back you up. Let's give it a try. Let's get to it. I'll assist you. It's time. Stay focused. I'm stronger. Who, oh, me? Everything is ready.
loose. I was so scared. I'll find a way to repay you. I promise. Never underestimate an outsider. Sorry. That was a close one. Trace of evidence to be found in the chapel. This must have something to do with Remire. Perhaps. Wait! Huh? Another student? Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Just a pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, dog. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> survive merely because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill sorry it looks like I'm going to have to leave you now First time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. My 
Thank you so much! So this is where your father lived. Hmm? Are you still crying? If turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. Agreed. We cannot let the Wicked Ones run free. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. Hmm? Oh. Read that part there. Horsebow Moon, year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat. Day two of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day eight of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. Ah, here you are. To think that Captain... Gerald would meet his end like that. I hope you know that you were the most important thing in the world to him. He wasn't the most emotional guy. I'm sure expressing his affection wouldn't have come naturally to him. After what's happened, it's up to me now. I, Alois, swear to protect you in the captain's stead. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time for my blathering. Lady Rhea is looking for you. I came to tell you that. I'll take my leave now. This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garrigmark. Their love produced a child, whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child 
took you and disappeared without warning. Your mother, she was my... I'm sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Understood?